Analytical flash pyrolysis is just the beginning. Today, virtually any material can be chemically characterized using the array of techniques which are designed into the modern-day multi-mode microfurnace pyrolyzer. In this video, we will discuss the double-shot and heart-cutting modes of the vertical microfurnace technology and how these techniques help you quickly solve the most difficult analytical challenges. From the method map video, we learned that EGA is the first step in material characterization. EGA provides information about the thermal complexity of the sample, the nature of the polymer, and the presence or absence of specific compounds of interest. It will show if double shot, heart cutting, or flash pyrolysis is needed, or if a combination of the techniques is required. To demonstrate how these different modes of operation of the multi-mode pyrolyzer work, material characterization of a commercial eyeliner is shown. The eyeliner was placed directly into the inert sample cup without any sample preparation or solvent extraction. EGA is then performed using the deactivated tube. A total of five peaks are observed. Three peaks, A, B, and C, are the volatiles in the sample and two peaks, D and E, originate from the polymeric materials in the sample. If you perform flash pyrolysis, also known as single shot, the obtained pyrogram contains all of the organics in the sample from zones A to E. This could make the interpretation difficult because of the complexity of the sample. What if you choose the double shot mode of operation instead of single shot? Double shot is the process of performing two analyses on a single sample. First, the inert sample cup drops into the micro furnace. The volatile fraction of the sample, such as residual solvents, additives, monomers, and oligomers, is thermally desorbed, chromatographically separated, and detected by a mass spectrometer or other detector. Once the volatile fraction has been desorbed, the inert sample cup is relocated up to be held at near ambient temperature using Frontier's Auto Shot Sampler. This prevents sample degradation, decomposition, or thermosetting during the chromatographic analysis of the thermally extracted volatile fraction. When the analysis of the volatile fraction is complete, the GC oven temperature is reset to initial temperature and the pyrolyzer furnace is set to the pyrolysis temperature. The inert sample cup is again dropped into the furnace, where flash pyrolysis occurs rapidly and reproducibly. The pyrolysates are transported directly to the analytical column and the pyrogram is generated. By using the double shot mode, first, volatiles evolving from the sample are analyzed by thermal desorption. Then, the residual sample is pyrolyzed for identification of the heavier and polymeric content of the sample. For more detailed chemical characterization, you can use the heart cutting mode of operation. Heart cutting is the sequential thermal slicing of the EGA thermogram. Up to eight EGA thermal zones can be selectively introduced into the GC separation column using Frontier's selective sampler. The heart cutting technique allows you to program the furnace into five temperature zones and obtain separate GCMS chromatograms for each thermal zone to easily identify the components. So, the analysis of each thermal zone yields a chromatogram containing only those compounds evolving from the sample of the selected temperature range. In summary, the multi-mode microfurnace pyrolyzer enables multiple analytical techniques both isothermal and temperature programmed. Compatible with all major GC systems, the Frontier Pyrolyzer system guarantees reproducibility, precision, and accuracy, while the entire analysis is automated using the AutoShot sampler. And remember, no matter where your analytical home country is, the method map, EGA, single shot, double shot, heart cutting, and other capabilities of the vertical microfurnace technology will guide you to the land of answers efficiently and effectively. To learn more about the multi-mode microfurnace pyrolyzer and how it can add value to your analytical protocols, simply connect with us.